In XSI, we can take advantage of presets in order to save certain properties in our property pages so we can recycle and reuse them over and over again without having to set them up from scratch. This can save us time in the long run when working in certain projects in XSI. So let me show you how to take advantage of that feature of Softimage XSI. Let's go up here to Primitive in the Modeling menu set, go to Polygon Mesh, and we'll create a simple sphere. So here's a simple little sphere with the default gray font shader. Let's apply material to this to change it up a bit. Let's go to material, and click on Fong. This applies a new Fong material on the sphere we created. Let's change the color to a sort of purple. Maybe change the specular, just picking a random color here. Okay. So there's our uh, purple material here for grape. Well, let's go up here to this folder icon, and if you left click, left mouse button click on it, you get a sub menu, and you have two options. We can load a preset, which we don't have, or we can save a preset, which is what we want to do. So let's click on save preset, and now XSI will ask us where we want to save this preset. Well, by default, this is the location XSI will choose, as you can see in the address bar. We'll go ahead and save there. Down here in the options, we have file name, file description, and file types. Let's just go ahead and put a file name. That's all we really need. So we'll call this grape material and click on OK. Now let's close that property page, and with this sphere still selected, Let's go back to material and apply a new Fong material. That's going to create a new default Fong, which is going to be a simple bland gray color. Well, let's say we want to use our gray, our grape material we created without having to go in here and try to guess what the color values were before. So let's click on the folder icon and this time we'll select load preset. All you have to do is find the preset that you created in this list of preset files. If we look down here, it's alphabetically sorted. Great material was the name of the file that we created, or the preset that we created. Here it is. Simply select it, click OK, and as you can see, our properties here in the property page of the Fong for that sphere were changed around. It now has the great material applied, and as you can see, even the name reflects that up here in this property for the name. So there you go. A simple example of how you can use presets in Softimage XSI to save you time in your projects.